Daryl D. Metcalf born November 9, 1962 is an American politician currently serving in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. Metcalf is a member of the Republican Party and has represented the 12th Legislative District since 1999. He currently serves as the Majority Chairman of the House State Government Committee. Background Metcalf is a graduate of Charles W. Baker High School in Baldwinsville, New York, and he attended Kansas State University while serving in the United States Army at Fort Riley in Kansas. He later was stationed in Germany. His experience in the Army included duty as an air defense radar and IFF identification friend or foe systems repair specialist. Prior to his election, Metcalf was employed with Dade Bearing formerly DuPont Diagnostics for 13 years as a field engineer. He was responsible for managing a biomedical service territory in western Pennsylvania. Political career Metcalf was elected in 1998 to replace retiring Rep. Pat Carone. He has won re-election nine times. Since 2011 he has been the majority chairman of the House State Government Committee. Main article Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor Election, 2010. Metcalf ran as a candidate for Lieutenant Governor in 2010. He came in third place in the Republican primary, losing to Jim Colley. Political positions Daryl Metcalf has been recognized by the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette as the Pennsylvania General Assembly's number one conservative. I was a Tea Partier before it was cool. Metcalf said in an interview. LGBT, Metcalf opposed Philadelphia's program to market the city to gay tourists. He tried to cut state funding to universities that offer domestic partner benefits. He sued a gay New Hope couple for attempting to get a marriage license in September 2009. Metcalf held up a Pennsylvania State Assembly resolution declaring October Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Metcalf claimed that the bill had language in it that brought men into the situation, citing this as evidence of a homosexual agenda. This met with criticism from Rep. Babette Josephs who said, The gentleman from Butler has made this problem even worse and more men may be abused, even killed in their homes, on the House floor in 2009. In 2011, House Bill 1434 was introduced by Daryl Metcalf along with 36 co-sponsors on May 3, 2011. It was referred to the Committee of State Government. The bill would amend the state constitution stating to ban same-sex marriage and any substantial equivalent. On March 13, 2012, a committee vote on the bill was stopped. In 2013, Daryl Metcalf reintroduced the bill with 27 co-sponsors on May 7, 2013, which is the lowest number of co-sponsors the bill had been introduced with. In June 2013, after the Defense of Marriage Act had been ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court, openly gay state representative Brian Sims tried to make a speech in the Pennsylvania House supporting the decision. Metcalf who was one of several representatives who blocked Sims from speaking, said, I did not believe that as a member of that body that I should allow someone to make comments such as he was preparing to make that ultimately were just open rebellion against what the Word of God has said, what God has said, and just open rebellion against God's law. Immigration Metcalf is the founder of State Legislators for Illegal Immigration SLLI, an organization opposed to birthright citizenship. The state lawmakers for legal immigration works closely with the Federation for American Immigration Reform Fair, an anti-illegal alien organization. On March 1, 2011, Metcalf reintroduced HB 738, a bill which would direct police officers to attempt to verify the immigration status of suspected illegal aliens. It would also create a new third-degree misdemeanor for illegal aliens who violate federal law by either willfully failing to register as an alien or failing to possess proper proof of such registration when stopped for another primary offense, such as a traffic violation, crack down on employers who hire illegal aliens without first checking to see if they had registration papers and are in the state legally, create a new third-class felony for intentionally smuggling illegal aliens into the state for profit and would allow police officers impound any vehicle driven by an illegal alien or used to transport illegal aliens. The proposed law is based on Arizona's Support Our Law Enforcement and Safe Neighborhoods Act SB 1070, which was passed in April 2010 and largely struck down as unconstitutional. Environment In October 2009, Metcalf criticized Operation Free, a coalition of veterans and national security organizations that advocates on environmental issues, by saying as a veteran, I believe that any veteran lending their name, to promote the leftist propaganda of global warming and climate change, in an effort to control more of the wealth created in our economy, through cap and tax tied policies, all in the name of national security, is a traitor to the oath he or she took to defend the constitution of our great nation. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Shooting Upon seeing student protests in the aftermath of the February 14, 2018 mass shooting in which 17 students and teachers were killed. Metcalf posted the following to his official Facebook account, showing no sympathy for the victims or their families. 
I enlisted in the U.S. Army at 17 years old. This morning I was working out and listening to the news about students being bussed into the Florida Capitol. The hypocrisy of the left struck me. They expect lawmakers to listen to the policy advice of 18-year-old and younger students who are advocating for gun control, but they do not believe 18-year-olds who are old enough to serve on the battlefields of Afghanistan are old enough to purchase a rifle. Personal Metcalf lives in Cranberry Township with his wife, Elka, and daughter, Lisa. Controversy In September 2015, Metcalf invited pro-English's Robert Vandiver a man with white nationalist ties and former head of Chicagoland Friends of American Renaissance Aid to testify before Pennsylvania State Government Committee. After facing criticism for his decision by the Southern Poverty Law Center who called Vandervor a white supremacist, Metcalf countered by arguing that white nationalism is not white supremacy. Metcalf's response drew praise from the Daily Stormer, a white supremacist, neo-Nazi website. A GOP staffer reported that members of his own party were upset with his comments. I believe white supremacists and white nationalists are synonymous and Daryl should repudiate both and their recent actions because I certainly do, Philadelphia Republican Rep. John Taylor said after the controversy. As chairman of the House State Government Committee, Metcalf has also drawn criticism for failing to hold a vote on a Republican-backed bill for a gift ban for state legislators. On December 5, 2017, Metcalf strongly took issue with colleague Matthew Bradford touching his arm while speaking to him, saying, I'm a heterosexual. I have a wife. I love my wife. I don't like men as you might so stop touching me all the time. Keep your hands to yourself. If you want to touch somebody, you have people on your side of the aisle that might like it. I don't. His rant was condemned by Brian Sims as homophobic. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf also urged House leaders to demote Metcalf from his committee position saying I urge House leadership to re-examine whether it is appropriate for him Rep. Metcalf to continue controlling a committee that oversees civil rights legislation.